100 mg tocotrienol daily was proven to significantly reduce creatinine levels in kidney disease patients. This changes everything! Catherine from Double O Kidney here, welcome to our journey together to a better kidney health. There are four new findings that will change the way we look at vitamins for kidney health forever. Because nutrition is the most important aspect of managing kidney disease. And guys, I've personally met kidney disease patients who were able to improve and some even in the advanced stages. And I can't stress enough how much importance they are putting on getting the correct vitamins every day. Some vitamins are converted by the kidneys and when they are damaged, deficiencies are incredibly common. It's not a secret that 90% of people with kidney disease have one or more vitamin deficiencies. The bright side is that solving these deficiencies can really help. Today, we are going to see some vitamins with incredibly underrated benefits for those with kidney disease. Our number one in particular is a vitamin that's always recommended for people with kidney problems, but it comes with a hidden danger. The most common form of it may raise your blood pressure according to recent studies. Yes, you have a vitamin in your cabinet that may be very dangerous. But more about this later in the video. Before that, there is a vitamin that doctors are never prescribing and that was very recently proven capable of improving kidney function and creatinine levels significantly in a select group of kidney disease patients. This special vitamin is called… Number 4. Tocotrienol, a form of vitamin E. In a very recent study conducted on 59 diabetic kidney disease patients in stage 3, those administered 400 mg tocotrienol had a significant reduction of creatinine levels and a significant improvement in GFR. These results were visible in just 2 months and become more evident after 8 months and persisted for over 12 months. This is an amazing result because it's actually changing the way science looks at vitamin E for kidney disease. And while this study was done on patients with diabetes in the early stages of CKD, it doesn't mean this new trend cannot help those in the advanced stages. Actually, it's not a secret that the powerful antioxidant properties of vitamin E may have a very positive effect on hypertension. Vitamin E is an essential nutrient that's important to vision, reproduction, and the health of your blood, brain, and skin. And it is also one of the most powerful antioxidants in nature. So it fights oxidative stress. Oxidative stress is not just the cause of all the diseases associated with aging, it's also associated with high blood pressure according to studies. Actually, researchers believe that the production of free radicals is much higher in kidney disease and this will in turn cause high blood pressure. And a study found out that supplementing vitamin E can help get blood pressure back to normal. Researchers believe that this is due to the potent antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties of this form of vitamin E. Now guys, if you follow me here regularly, you may already know that supplementing vitamin E is usually not recommended in people with kidney problems. But as we have seen, there is evidence to show that this vitamin may be a true game changer for some kidney disease patients. We don't know if the future doctors will start prescribing it, so in short. Unless you are in stage 3 and have diabetes, focus on healthy foods rich in this vitamin and ask your doctor to prescribe you tocotrienol 400 mg a day if you have diabetes and are in stage 3 of CKD. Otherwise, keep focusing on a balanced diet. Great vitamin E sources safe for a renal diet include almonds, hazelnuts, red peppers, turnip, greens, and kiwi fruit. Now I have three other vitamins and nutrients with underrated benefits. In particular, our next entry is a very special vitamin that can treat the most common vitamin deficiencies kidney disease patients have to face. This one is called number three, alpha calcidol.
Have you ever heard about it? Alpha calcidol is a vitamin D analog. It's the vitamin people with kidney problems need the most, actually. Vitamin D is the kidney vitamin. Supplementing it can seriously slow down the progression of kidney disease. Some researchers basically consider it a miracle. Still, up to 90% of kidney disease patients have low levels of vitamin D. The problem is not that they don't get enough of it. The problem is that their kidneys cannot process it. If this happens, alpha-calcidol is the only solution. Yes, for many patients, supplementing regular vitamin D3 won't help. It will just burden the kidneys. Low vitamin D levels have been linked to fatigue, frequent infections, bone pain, and a faster declining kidney function. Vitamin D is also crucial for calcium absorption. In case of a deficiency, your bones will be rubbed and you will be at high risk for fractures. And as I was saying, this may also happen to people already supplementing vitamin D3. This happens because the kidneys are needed to convert vitamin D from foods, sun, and supplements into an active form the body can use. This active form is called alpha-calcidol. So, in short, vitamin D is crucial for your kidney and bone health, but regular supplements are not good enough for patients in the advanced stages. Alpha-calcidol is what they need. Now, even if alpha-calcidol is a vitamin, it is still a prescription medication, so you will need your doctor to prescribe it to you. And while this form of vitamin D is already being prescribed to patients with end-stage renal disease, recent research is making doctors reconsider this vitamin even for those in stage 3 and 4 of CKD because it can really help. This is why it's very important to always keep your vitamin D levels under control. Ask your doctor to check your levels because not all doctors do this. If your levels are low, get prescribed alpha-calcidol. Now, vitamin D also comes with a hidden danger. Because while vitamin D is crucial to absorb calcium from foods, it doesn't help at all the body using this extra calcium. And this may lead to calcification in arteries and kidneys, a very dangerous condition. But there is a little known vitamin that can help. Number 2. Menachinone or Vitamin K2 This one is an incredibly powerful way of helping kidney health. It can actually tell the body to put extra calcium in the bones and not in the vessels or organs. Yes, arterial calcification is very dangerous and Vitamin K2 can help. This powerful nutrient also plays an essential role in many aspects of your health. Studies confirm that an increased intake of menachinone or vitamin K2 can prevent cardiovascular-related death in people with kidney problems. And remember that what helps with the heart helps with the kidneys too. Vitamin K2 works in tandem with vitamin D3 to deposit calcium in the bones and not in the veins and kidneys. But while vitamin D is strongly recommended by today's guidelines for people with kidney problems, vitamin K2 is still an unknown quantity. Still, many researchers believe that vitamin K2 can be the nutrient with the fastest and most powerful effects on your health. Now, vitamin K2 is very different from vitamin K. Vitamin K may even be dangerous. Vitamin K1 deficiency is rare and almost non-existent, unlike for vitamin K2. Experts in this area think that most CKD patients have a functional vitamin K2 deficiency, with up to 97% of patients having insufficient levels. If you want to try this supplement, which is proven to help bone, kidney, and heart health when paired with extra calcium and vitamin D3, take the menachinone MK7 form of K2. Studies use doses between 100 micrograms and 400 micrograms per day. The safest route is always to start with the lower dosage, 100 micrograms, and to consult the doctor. So in short, vitamin K2, which is different from vitamin K, is a common deficiency and can cause bone problems and calcification of organs. Supplementing it can help because there are no plant-based sources of this vitamin. 
Now, I have one more little known info about vitamins that can seriously change the lives of people with kidney problems. This is a vitamin you should be already supplementing as per current guidelines, but not everyone is taking the right form of it and this can cause serious health problems. Number one is ascorbic acid, the form of vitamin C people with kidney problems actually need. Vitamin C is widely known for its function as an antioxidant. It actively improves immune health and protects the kidneys from oxidative stress. And it also plays a crucial role in wound healing, bone and tooth formation, and heart health. In people with kidney problems, it also offers a great help against anemia. And according to recent studies, this vitamin can also help lower your uric acid and cholesterol levels. Again, two crucial factors when it comes to kidney health. And just like for vitamin E, supplementing this essential nutrient can effectively lower your blood pressure, but only if you are supplementing the right form of it. There are two vitamin C forms mainly used, ascorbic acid and sodium ascorbate. Sodium ascorbate contains sodium or salt, which is known to increase blood pressure. Supplementing sodium is a really bad decision. So time to go to your medicine cabinet and double check the label of your vitamin C. If you are taking ascorbic acid, possibly in a low dosage, around 60 to 90 milligrams a day, you are safe. If you are taking sodium ascorbate, it may be increasing your blood pressure, especially at high doses. If this is the case, consult your doctor and find a brand that sells ascorbic acid vitamin C in 60 mg dose or get it from a renal multivitamin. More info about the best renal multivitamins in my video up here. And a new video is coming next Friday and I really hope to see you there. In the meantime, keep taking good care of your kidneys and be good to yourself. This is all for today. Thank you for watching.